thing I'll do is I will let's say add randomly. Um, you know, no, no. This is the advantage of RDBMS relational database management system that I have two separate tables. One table that was in a CSV file format that was in a flat file spreadsheet format. Another file which was a CSV file format I imported into Access. Now I made a relationship between these two tables, and I can add some data from here. And I can add some data probably from here in any manner I may want to. So see the advantage, I run this and I get data from both tables. This is the advantage of RDBMS. Okay, I'll get, I can save this as, I can save this as a uh, report name, whatever the report name I have, I'll save it. Okay, so um, then let me just show you one more thing that before we made a relationship, you did not see this, this is plus, this is one to many. This means this primary key is related to many of these, many of these. You see, uh, so some way, this is helping me to get rid of repetition. This table has no repetition. So if I use this table somewhere else, it will be easy for me to search the data. Okay, right. So let's come back to queries and we'll discuss some basic queries today. Uh, the basic query I'll start with basically will be, let's say, I want to find out all the locations which are BA um, or VE. So I'll type over here is BA or VE. If I type B or V, obviously I get B or V. Okay. So I can type or 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 I can even type and which means both should be present. But anyway, but most important thing is that why we have this or this or why do we have this? Well, let's say I want to find MA and the location should be um, Nabi and uh, there are our, our class was right, Khadija? Yes. Okay. Okay. So what we'll do is let's say I want to find all those that are in uh, our MA and are they not all the same? B of Bangalore, no. Um, I would say it is the name B A. Listen to this. So. The location is BA and the name is starts with A. So A star, remember A star? A star means that it begins with A. Okay, so if I type this in one line, it shows me all those which are BA and the name starts with A, perfectly fine. Okay, and I told you that if we look at SQL view, look at the SQL view and if I read the last line, see over here is that I get the or, the and. Our sales location is equal to BA and our sales name like A star, which means the name is starting with A star and A. So which means if we write in one line, if we write in one line, it means and. But if I carry this from here and if I place this down, which means this or. This means compare between this field or this field. This field or this field. So I have the location where it's BA and the name or. Name one. So wherever it's BA, it probably will not start with A. So wherever it starts with A, it might not be BA. So either one of the statement will be true. Either this statement will be true or this statement. But one of the statement will be true. Please have a look at this. I'll ask many question. Is this clear? That why do we have this or? This or below the criteria. This or below the criteria is used. Why? It's used for Yeah, I'll repeat this. What I was saying was, oh, I'm so sorry, the SQL view, exactly. So if I go to the SQL view, yeah, yeah. if I go to the SQL view, um, let's have a look at the SQL view in the OR. I'll copy this and I'll paste it. So 
as you can see over here is if I do that, let's see what's happening. They can't say where location is BA or the name is A star. So you see, if we write diagonally, automatically we know it's or. This is why I wanted you to have a look at this one statement as well, because it confirms that whatever we're doing is right. It confirms that we if we write in one straight line, both fields in, in, in straight, okay, then in, in the same level, I would say it's and, but if I write it diagonally, which means if I keep on stepping down, stepping down, stepping down, which means an or. Is it clear better? The one who asked me, any doubt? Anyone else, any doubt? Very good. Anyone? If we write <laughs> or in the criteria within the same field, yeah, so it would, so field mein se it should be either this or that. Absolutely, correct. Dekho, I'll just show you. Here BA or MA. What you will see over here is that or MA. Uh, in fact, let me first, first show you this. Let's do this first. Or MA, okay, and in straight line, it means and. So, when is BA or MA? It starts with A, it starts with A. It will always start with A. These two are between or, but this is and. So, it means location has, location says this, location should be MA or BA. And name should be name should be starting with A. Am I right? Yes, sir. The, the, the question would say that find where the location is either MA or BA, and the names begins with A. This is what it would say. Right. <clears throat> so if I take it down. One step down, <clears throat> we have more options, which means um, either it could start with either it could be BA or it could be MA or the name starts with A. So I get lots of more options available. So this is just, a, um, it's not very tricky, I would say. You just need to read the question carefully and you, you should compare your, your results with the output to see it's working or not. Is it clear, all of you? Any problem till here? No, no sir. sir. Yeah, I'll summarize. The difference between these two R's, this R, as you can see, this R is uh, has an O as capital, this R has an O small. Obviously, the reason why it says people made the difference is to tell the difference. This R is used uh, to find within a field, within the location field, which means it should be this or this or this or this within a field. But when we use, Anam Amjad is our, is our student? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So if we use this R, this R is, is used to distinguish between fields, where I would say the location should be this, or the name should be this, or the brand should be this, or the town should be this, which means I'm just trying to compare between different fields with an or. So I repeat again, uh, this or below the criteria is used for between the fields. Okay, and the other or is basically just Okay, good, good, good. Anyone has any other question? Any question till now? Okay, what we'll do is um, uh, we, we, can, we can pause now. I will share the video with you. Please go through it. Make sure you have any questions you let me know and, and you can attempt any paper as well. And in the next class, we will, we will um, continue with queries and forms, and you also solve the paper. Sir, actually, can you please upload the 2008 paper for PowerPoint, because I couldn't find it online. Sir, I'm saying that the PowerPoint paper 
Okay. I'll, I'll, okay, right, right. I'll, I'll just do it in a while and I'll, I'll let you. Okay. Right. Thank you, sir. Okay, beta. So be in touch with me. If you have any problem, you can't do it. Let me know. Okay. Uh, so that you don't waste your time. So we'll be inshallah now meet on um, Thursday evening. Okay. And uh, okay. let you know the time on Wednesday evening. One day before. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, beta. See all of you. Okay. Love face. Love face.